Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for February 28 to uh, January 28, excuse me, to February 3rd, 2019. Uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, once again guys I want to uh, remind you that that will be a, a general reading for uh, Leo star sign <clears throat> and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Leo and uh, for that in this video I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards there are synergy in the spread as well I will try at the end to give you a few examples of it you know so I can make my points more clearer across but ultimately you will have to align that general reading with your personal situation to make it more personal reading so to have a, a better accu accuracy of what is coming for this specific week so uh, this is where it's going to be a, an enhanced tar reading which means that we're going to draw additional card per position here uh, <clears throat> which is going to give us supposedly uh, more clarity now if you want um, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards just like I will do for the few examples here in this video that is the subject of a personal reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so what we have at our hands here is that this week Leo is going to be a very dynamic one. I mean, it, it will require from you to have a lot of uh, a lot of contribution and to be action oriented person as well. Now that is seen here in these couple of cards, right? Because uh, this week ultimately is going to allow you or the circumstances happening throughout that week is going to allow you to have your thing in the sense of that um, how can I express it to get what you want figuratively speaking that is due the seven of swords falling into a, a prime position uh, into the core position here which is the root of the matter and the seven of swords in that case it does represent one person who takes what they have been owed and walks away uh, engaging their personal agenda so it, we may talk about separation here but it's not going to be separation um, unwilling separation for example uh, you know let's say your partner leaves you out of nowhere I mean you will be initiator of this separation with a certain strings maybe with people as well or in generally with circumstances which are holding you back uh, making you realize that you are not following your goals but you are following the goals of someone else so for that reason here we do have the Knights of Wands which is the very topic of this uh, of this week and in that specific case the Knight of Wands asks you to explore all of the options available in front of you which are opened once you decided to diverse from someone else's goals and someone else's agenda and follow your own quick example you're working for somebody uh, and for their company and quickly you realize that you can do that thing for yourself for your own personal company and therefore you decide to open your private business detaching yourself from the string of the current company and now throughout the week you will have to explore the options available which are in front of you so this is a, a week of opening for you and yet is going to um, require from you to have a, a huge sense if I may express myself that way of initiation of engagement as well you know so you have to engage with all the options available in front of you and find which one is going to work to its greatest extent the additional card to the Knight of Wands here we do have the Sun which is a extremely positive card which offers growth so these are going to be options available that offers growth that offers as well uh, 
good terms with others because the sun card it is a card as saying that the hatchets of go are the hatchets of war are going to be buried down so i don't think that this separation uh, that you are detaching yourself from a some from a strings or criteria which are holding you back is going to seriously damage your current agenda that you do have and that you are going to follow as well and ultimately throughout this week as uh, you know as you are exploring all the possibilities in front of you ultimately you will have a pretty clear picture here what you should do from now on and which situation is going to unfold very naturally for you because the sun card is also about natural unfoldment it is a, it is taking it like this you know until this very moment as i said you you work for somebody and now the the natural step for you to grow is to now start work for yourself so it's it's a week through which you are going to uh, redirect your resources more towards yourself and toward achieving personal goals than a uh, directing your resources toward other agendas and toward other people and as i said that is well displayed here with the seven of swords which is the core of the situation finding out well this card could have as well some ominous um, ominous interpretation uh, as uh, you may find out that until this very moment you have been lied in a sense of that you have not getting paid or compensated accordingly to your um, to your performance right and it is time for you to storm the situation to ask what you have been owed and to as I said you know diverse separate and start walking toward your own your own personal goal in generally uh, this card represents when one realizes that they are strong enough on their own and uh, until this very moment in a certain field of their life they have wasted personal resources to please someone else to please a group of people or to please a certain situation while they did not have the obligation to and uh, all in all said uh, this card points that you are to realize you are involved in a war, in a battle that it is not yours to it is not yours to fight for. You know, your battle and your personal war is somewhere else, and it's time for you to throw your your efforts in that direction rather than in the war and the battle of someone else or of something else. Additionally to that, we do have the strength card here. Which represents the person, the, the the self confidence that one has. I mean, this card represents the. Um, how can I place it? I don't know if the if the term is self confidence. I will try to explain it that way. You know, the uh, that uh, you will be um, convinced that you have to make this uh, this approach of traversing you know your efforts and personal resources toward different goal and toward different agenda toward exploring the the shores which are in front of you or the, the additional opportunity without giving explanations why for example you decide to quit to quit your job because you find it uh, you know less lucrative than you can achieve in a different place and of course your boss is trying to keep you in there asking you why well you will find out for yourself of course that you don't have to really give them a reason I mean the the whole reason for that is that you realize that you can be um, you can be much more lucrative in a different place so with the strength card here it is very important to persevere through it's not even patience but more like calmness you need to calm your wavering you should not um, allow let's say critical judgments to um, to influence your decisions as well and you should not allow people to swirl you from um, from the path generally that you have uh, consciously uh, consciously taken the strength card is also a, another 
card pointing that uh, you should not go into any extreme so even if you realize that you have been mistreated recently or in other words you haven't been paid as much as you could have you know that should not be a prerequisite for you to burst out to provoke wrangles and etc etc because remember we said that the, the hatchets of war needs to be buried down so just maintain your calmness kill the aggression with kindness if you can and just move on with, uh, with your personal goal and with your personal agenda. Of course, as I said, you will be, uh, or the people around you will try to ask you for an explanation, or they will demand it. It is not even an asking. They will demand why, though you are not obliged to give them any of it, right? You just, just because you know that... Um, something else different from what you are contributing right now it's much more lucrative or exhilarating than uh, than this that should be the enough reason for you to uh to basically redirect your um your efforts that could be as well uh given as a um as a, a love triangle situation where you choose one person over another and the one that you haven't chosen asks you for an explanation you know for that and you are not obliged to, to give them any it's just because you feel that you will be happier with the other person because they treat you better and etc etc it's just throughout this week it will be important for you to seek your personal happiness and your personal growth than the growth of others the next card that we do have that is the chariot card which is the challenges causing predicaments and then we do have the ace of pentacles and that is a typical situation which points that the good things are happening slower than the bad things so uh, as we said that you need to have a perseverance through patience we do have this here into the um, into the challenges as well uh, at the start what these these cards are pointing is that at the start of your initiation here with the new agenda of yours Things are going to uh, develop rapidly for the first, let's say, couple of days. And then they are going to slow down. And they are going to slow down a lot. And that could create the uh, feeling of despondency here. Uh, because, uh, you know, you may get used to have a fast development, fast growth, and so on and so forth. And uh, now you know kind of like things are slowing down so instead of uh, instead of because obtaining a frantic standpoint here trying to figure out what is wrong while there is nothing wrong with it because remember whatever happens to you throughout the week it this is the natural unfoldment right so there is nothing wrong with it and instead of trying to fix something that is completely normal and natural it will be best if you spend your time planning because these cards are all about planning it is planning how to to make that huge step when the time comes right because the chariot card also as a uh, uh, as a predicament as a uh, obstruction it does represent a premature moves so the only thing that you don't want here is a premature movement premature decisions uh, reckless uh, reckless burning of bridges that connects you with the past and etc etc so calculative moves or, or um, spending time to calculate your further further strategies are going to be much more beneficial in, uh, of reckless and frantic performance if i may express myself that way additionally the eight of uh, the ace of uh, pentacles here as a uh, supportive card because these are passive friends and as a passive friends it means that that is ha that is going to have a, a prolonged period of time manifestation the, the ace of pentacles is asking you to put more effort into first creating harmonies into your relationship which means that if we are following the example of the love triangle just because you chose one of the people over another it doesn't mean that you have to uh that you that you must have ill relationship with the other person that you haven't chose this card here points that is going to be tough yeah but you do have all the means necessary in order to maintain the um, the positive attitude for in between you two so it does request you this card asks you to have 
harmony is into all of your relationship not just loved ones guys but also a friendship ones a business ones as well also this card with the chariot card asks you to figure out a way how you can be successful in your business because these cards are pointing that that is your natural unfoldment so whatever business idea you do have throughout that week it's definitely have a way to be manifested it is just this way needs to be uh, calculated throughout the week because what we said here is that the night represents your exploration of the options available until you find the most suitable one uh, for you <clears throat> and last but not least these cards are asking you to have a clamorous belief for the uh, positive hour uh, uh, for the positive unfoldment of your um, of your undertakings because there are such and uh, you know I can um, I can imagine now some people listening to that and uh, hearing me saying that you need to traverse your resources towards yourself uh, and these people may say well that is kind of selfish well it is kind of selfish you know but think of it from a different perspective how often you see someone directing resources to make you feel good? You know, how often is that? And how often you are doing it? And if you're doing it way too often while nobody else is doing that for you, well, maybe this is what you're doing wrong. Maybe, you know, you have to take care for your own happiness because no one else is going to unless you don't do it for yourself, if not for anybody else. So the last card here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you throughout the week, we do have the King of Cups. First thing that this card is, is telling us is to maintain a, your emotional, um, emotional standpoint. So the card is asking you not to reveal your, um, your emotional sense toward situations. Let's say that someone tells you something bad it kind of hurts you or they they are very rude you should not show that as a as in an emotional expression as in an emotional outburst this card asks you to be extremely calm and kind of like with a poker face throughout that week because with the seven of swords here as well this could be traversed towards you either I mean people seeing your weak spot into your emotions and they abusing that spot as well so again it is important that you keep your deepest emotions only for those that deserve those emotions if you love somebody you should not make uh, this love a um, to to the you should not you should not bring that love to the public knowledge i mean the only person that needs to feel that love is the person that you love all right you should not kind of like i don't know how to say it really but uh display it in the public view uh on top of that the the king of cups it is asks you to be emotionally in checked or emotionally tamed because there will be a lot of professional decisions awaiting you here as you are exploring options available an emotional decision rather than professional decision it is the only thing that you don't want here or it is the thing that you least want here so if you are a career oriented person then a professional over emotional decision it is something that you are going to seek for throughout the week that is what is going to give you the most kind of like acceptable option available in front of you to become obvious and to make you lucrative and etc etc the additional card to uh, this king that is the wheel of fortune which literally says that you should not allow anything to be decided by fate but you need to kind of grasp your um, your ship or the the wheel of your ship with your iron hands and give direction to your personal unfoldment and to your personal um, personal fate. So you do have the chance here, Leo, to forge your future. I hope that you don't waste that chance. You will be the one who decides for yourself. You will be the one who plays the foundations of your growth. You will be the one who will give the prerequisite to do one thing over another. It's not going to be because the universe decided it for you. It is because you decided it for yourself. So that was the uh, 
tarot reading for you guys. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. Alright, so what we have, that will be the moon. And the moon in Lenormand stands for fame, it does stand for recognition, it does stand for how the others sees you. Then we do have the snake, and the snake stands for uh, betrayal, it stands for uh, treachery as well, and also it does stand for clever. Right, and how the people see you, they are seeing you as a, a clever person, then uh, it is the sheep. Or, uh, not the sheep, but the rider, excuse me, the rider. And the rider stands for a uh, new beginning, it stands for information, and it stands for uh, adventure as well, all right? So, uh, I do think that people will recognize you. Uh, this is the event here. You will receive a recognition as a clever person who is totally capable to um, initiate a new beginning in their life. Are you going to do it? Well, that is a, another thing, but it is definitely given to you as a prerequisite here. And as I said, you will be able to forge your own faith here throughout this week. So I hope you decide wisely. So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 28th to February 3rd. 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Leo Star Sign. And for that reason, this this reading is going to resonate differently with every single different Leo. Now, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, just like I did for the examples in this video, well, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out the web, uh, my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.